About half the population is diabetic. Are you one of them? If you are and you're taking metformin, you'll want to know that metformin robs these nutrients from your body. Let's break it down. Number one, vitamin B12. Metformin has been shown, especially when taken over longer periods of time, to cause depletion of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause neuropathy. It's the same kind of neuropathy that happens in diabetics, that diabetic neuropathy. There are human studies that show that vitamin B12 deficiency, when corrected, can actually correct neuropathies. So if you're a diabetic and you have a neuropathy and your doctor hasn't checked your B12, it's definitely something on your list to do. Number two, CoQ10. It's well known that metformin causes CoQ10 deficiency. There are a number of human studies where doctors give both metformin and CoQ10, and what they find in those patients is they develop the neuropathy of diabetes much less frequently. That's because CoQ10 deficiency can also cause neuropathy. Now, apart from that, CoQ10 deficits cause your blood pressure to go up, and they can also cause congestive heart failure. So again, the premise of medicating diabetes is to reduce future risk. If in doing so, you're causing CoQ10 deficiency and increasing blood pressure and damage to your heart, that can be a problem. Now, CoQ10 deficiency also causes muscle damage and muscle pain. If you're a diabetic trying to exercise to get your blood sugar back under control and you're on metformin and you're developing muscle pain and aches, it's important you know that CoQ10 connection because you want to ask your doctor to measure your levels. Because if you're low, it's very easy to supplement with. Number three, folate. Metformin causes folate deficiency. Now, folate is vitamin B9. One of its most important roles is protecting your liver. When folate is low, there's a process in your body called methylation that becomes damaged, and so you're more likely to accumulate fat in your liver. So you don't want to play around with folate deficiency. It also can contribute to anemia, which leads to prolonged fatigue, even with adequate rest. That can lead to brain fog and anxiety and exercise intolerance, all things you don't want to have if you're a diabetic. Obviously, one of the pathways forward with diabetes is improving your exercise to get better control of your blood sugar. So what's the fix? Get your levels tested. If you're taking metformin, ask your doctor to check your folate, your B12, and your CoQ10 levels. Ideally, check your other nutrient levels as well. Many of them play a role in blood sugar regulation. Nutrients like magnesium and zinc and chromium help resolve blood sugar problems in many cases. So get those levels checked. Number two, if you're low, consider changing your diet, eating better foods, eating foods rich in those nutrients. And number three, if you're really low, make sure you and your doctor work out a supplementation regimen to prevent further deterioration from that drug thief metformin. And most importantly, if you're diabetic and you're trying to get a handle on it, check out my entire crash course on the topic where I do a deep dive on everything you need to know about diabetes and nutrition, what to eat, what not to eat, how to exercise, what supplements are helpful, etc. So check that video out here.